What if I told you that there was a shortcut between two major British Columbia highways? What if I told you that it is a very scenic drive? Would you take it? What if I told you that we're going to show you exactly how to take that route in this video? and Ron and we were with Sultry Beaver Explorers and today we are doing a little bit of a different drive. We're going to do a shortcut on one of the BC highways. So I think a lot of people probably don't know that there is a shortcut available. If you're going between Highway 1 and Highway 5 you can cut off some time and do a scenic route so you're actually cutting off where you go through Kamloops and we figure you save about what? 50 kilometers by doing it this way. So we're going to show you that shortcut. I'll show some maps as well. Depending on which way you're traveling, we're going to be doing the shortcut between Highway 1, also known as the Trans-Canada Highway, and Highway Number 5, which in this case we're going to be traveling north and bypassing Kamloops. This is the shortcut that we'll be taking. In this larger map, you will see the blue line which indicates the main highways going through Kamloops. Instead, we're going to be turning off at Squilax, going along that grey route to Lewis Creek. It will save us approximately 57 kilometers and quite a bit of driving time. When we travel this road, we do it on the weekends because there's a lot less traffic on the roads because there are logging trucks still hauling to the mill. So we've just turned on to the Squilax Anglemont Road and we're heading to the North Shore of the Shushwap. And we've been here before in a video and I will put that link up above. I don't wanna go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. And you know I'm always fucking broke, it's better than being alone. Nights alone, since you don't want me, you said me. So we've just turned off onto the Adams Lake Road and it goes to the mill and from there it turns into the Forest Service Road. Here we're just entering into the community of Adams Lake.
As you can see, from here to Agate Bay, it is a gravel road. It's usually in very good condition, and you'll see that as we're driving along. Right now it is mid-October. We've driven this road many times, including with a camper and also pulling a cargo trailer, and we have never run into any issues. Adams Lake is a large, deep, cold water lake, and it is actually the sixth deepest lake in the world. There are a couple of places to be cautious as there are blind corners. Just make sure to watch for oncoming traffic. As we look down, we can see the community of Agate Bay. You don't have to hold my hand, and I don't have to understand. Don't feel the need to lie to yourself today. Because you knew it was gonna end up this way. Agate Bay is where the Forest Service Road ends. Now we're going to turn left to get back onto the public paved road. As you can see, this stretch from Agate Bay to Lewis Creek is a valley full of beautiful farmland. You should always be watching out for wildlife when you're driving, but this stretch of road is particularly bad for deer.
So here we're at Lewis Creek and just coming up to Highway 5 where we will be heading north. If you're coming south from Prince George or Jasper, you can do this trip the opposite way if you want to bypass Kamloops. Won't you pick yourself up off the ground? Thanks for joining us on our journey on this shortcut on the road. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.